Hey Globy, do you ever wonder if life exists on other planets? I mean, after all, your surface is covered with life. From people, to animals, to plants, to bacteria that are so small we can't even see them. But what about other worlds like Mars? Does life exist there? Or did it exist in the past? Today we're going to explore the possibility that life exists on other worlds. But not in the form of little green men we call aliens that you often see in movies. Have you heard of the term extraterrestrial? That term just means coming from someplace other than Earth. So when we talk about extraterrestrial life, we're talking about the potential life on other worlds. But what would those life forms look like? Would they look like us? Or would they look different? And where would we look to find life outside our world? Water is an essential ingredient for life as we know it. Without water, there can be no life. Let's talk about Mars for a minute. Two Mars orbiting spacecraft, Mars Global Surveyor and Mars Odyssey, provided the first evidence that large standing bodies of water once existed on Mars. This made scientists believe in the presence of water on Mars. Not liquid water flowing across the surface of Mars, but large subsurface deposits of water ice on the red planet. These observations were then backed up when two Mars exploration rovers, Spirit and Opportunity, provided the first concrete proof that large standing bodies of water once existed on Mars. The rover looked at the rocks that were formed as the ancient seas dried up. In 2007, NASA sent the Phoenix lander to Mars to look for water. The Phoenix lander is a special craft that landed on the surface of Mars. It has a robotic arm that could dig in the soil, and it has a camera that can beam back photos of the surface of Mars. The robotic arm dug just below the surface of Mars, and do you know what it found? Water! Frozen water in the form of ice found in the polar region of Mars. It was the first time ever that a spacecraft actually touched water on Mars. This was an incredible discovery. If we got there and there was no evidence of liquid water in the past, of frozen water ice currently, that would have dropped the odds that there was a habitable zone. Liquid water is the key to life as we know it on Earth. We wouldn't have the various life forms, whether mammals or fish or microbes. Pretty much all of our species require some form of liquid water to survive. So when the Phoenix lander discovered there was no liquid water on Mars, did that automatically mean there was no life on Mars? Eh, not exactly. Let me explain. You may have learned about a really cool discovery on our world that could teach us about life on other planets. Did you know that NASA scientists found microscopic bacteria buried in the ice in Alaska? Do you know what the term microscopic means? It means the object is so small you can't see it with the naked eye you need a microscope to see it. The official name for the exact kind of bacteria the scientists found in the ice is, well, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce it, but it means ancient red bacterium in ice. You can see the name right there. This tiny bacterium had been buried in the ice for over 32,000 years. And when the scientists melted the ice, the bacterium started swimming in the liquid water. Something that had been frozen for thousands and thousands of years was still alive. Even though the bacteria seemed to prefer temperatures that were near room temperature, they were able to adapt to the extreme cold and stay alive until the ice melted. Scientists refer to these tough bacteria as extremophiles, which means the bacteria can exist in extremely harsh conditions, or at least conditions that are harsh to humans, such as the ice found at the North Pole or the superheated waters of underwater volcanic vents and hot springs. Or maybe even a place with no air, like our moon. An extremophile is something that lives in the extremes. Maybe a critter that inhabits a super hot thermal vent at the bottom of the ocean under incredible pressure and, and heat. That would be a thermophile. Or a halophile, halo salt. Something that can live in an extremely desiccated, dried out, salty, absent of, of water environment. So when the Phoenix lander found ice just under the surface of Mars, did that also mean they found these incredible extremophiles? Phoenix found out that currently, no. There is not currently any life form that we can detect on Mars based on our landing site. But the potential for something in the past, if we go to another region of the planet, if you take different instruments, 
has just gone up because we found the secret ingredient. We found the, the evidence of, of possible past liquid water and currently uh, frozen water ice. It would be very exciting to find some microbial form of life out there in the solar system and I have no doubt that it's out there in the solar system. What it would mean for us would mean that we're just not so special. That we are part of a much, much larger, much more diverse community within our solar system, within our galaxy, within our universe than most people are willing to sit and imagine. So I think it's very exciting and very probable that those are going to be discoveries that are, are going to be coming soon. So Globy, how exciting would that be if we found life on another world? What do you think? Is it only a matter of time before scientists discover extraterrestrial life? Will another NASA mission, like the Phoenix Lander, discover the signs that life once lived on Mars? It's impossible to know for sure. But it is certainly exciting to think about, and who knows, maybe all of these questions will be answered in your lifetime.